World leaders are already meeting in the UK for this year's G7 summit, but before that, President Biden and UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson sat down yesterday and talked about a variety of topics, including the death of a UK teen by the wife of an American diplomat in 2019. She pled diplomatic immunity and went back to the States, but many in the UK are still searching for justice. MTS Tayeb tells us more. Well, Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson has said he and President Biden are, quote, working together to end a major diplomatic dispute over whether American and Sekoulis should face trial here in the UK over the death of Harry Dunn. Now, Sekoulis claimed diplomatic immunity shortly after the 19-year-old was killed when her car hit the motorbike he was traveling on. Speaking at the G7 in Cornwall, Johnson said the president was, quote, extremely sympathetic and actively engaged in the case. Mr. Biden has been open about losing his own first wife, Nelia, and their one-year-old daughter, Naomi, in a car crash in 1972, and the trauma it caused him and his surviving sons, Hunter and Beau. Now, Harry Dunn's mother, Charlotte Charles, said she couldn't be more grateful the president is involved. Now, we here at CBS News have been covering this case from the very beginning, including when former President Donald Trump invited Harry Dunn's parents to the White House in late 2019, where unknown to them, and Sekoulis was waiting in an adjoining room. The family say they declined meeting with her, saying they weren't emotionally ready, and later described their experience at the White House as, quote, traumatic and as a publicity stunt. The Harry Dunn's family have been campaigning for Sekoulis to be stripped of the diplomatic immunity she claimed as the spouse of a U.S. intelligence officer working overseas and face a British court over the death. If convicted, she could face a maximum sentence of 14 years in prison. Now, Dunn's family have also brought a civil claim against Sekoulis in Virginia, where she currently lives for unspecified damages. Anne-Marie Vlad. MTS, thank you very much.